family of the University of Michigan medical student who was killed several months ago is speaking out tonight just one day after police announced they made an arrest in that case. Yeah, Glenda here now with an update. Glenda, I know you spoke with Paul DeWolf's family this afternoon. What a tough conversation it was, I know. Oh, it sure was, yeah. Jeff Joanne. I spoke with his father, Tom, about an hour ago now by phone. And of course, it's been almost four months since something this solid has come about in this case. Yesterday, Ann Arbor police arrested three people in connection with Paul's death. No word yet on formal charges. Police are saying it does not look like the suspects had any affiliation or prior connection with Paul DeWolf or the university. His father, Tom, told me now the answers may begin coming. Initially, I was just overwhelmed, um, you know, because it just brings everything back up again. You know, all the emotions that were initially felt by myself and my family. Um, now it's, it's like, okay, this is the, the step that we've been hoping for to bring closure, to, to find out, you know, possibly why and what happened. And, you know, it's obviously not going to bring Paul back, but at this point, we're just hoping to start to bring closure to this so that we can start to rebuild our lives again. Hmm. DeWolf found dead July 24th at the Phi Rho Sigma Medical Fraternity House. Police say he was shot once in the neck. He was 25 years old. Uh, they also don't believe there was anyone else involved but the people that they have now. Okay, Glenda, thank you. Yeah.